in the kitchen. What's up, guys? In this video, I want to talk about Stellar XLM. So three months ago, I made a video and I titled it Stellar XLM. This is the last time. Have you ever wondered why I said that in my last Stellar video three months ago? This is why prices do not lie. Stellar recently last night was pumping like crazy. It is now just dipping to 16 cents. And shortly after I made that video three months ago, I bought more Stellar. And this is the thing, guys. <laughs> it's hilarious because we see the Fed now program starting to take effect, and a lot of ISO coins are pumping. H bar went over six cents. Stellar went to what's see how far Stellar went last night. I'm pretty sure it went like twenty cents or close. Yeah, it was in the eighteen cent range. When you click the month chart on Stellar, it's up a hundred percent. Meaning, if you just held on to it and bought it a month ago, you already 2x your money. And this is while Bitcoin's below 30K and Ethereum is around 1900. So yeah, whether you think we're in a bear market, accumulation cycle, whatever, if you 2x your money before Bitcoin started skyrocketing, that's a win. And this is the reason why I want to make this video. Most people do not buy suppressed cryptos when they're down. They follow into them when they rise up. When the coast is clear, when they feel safe, and then they jump in. Like, if you go to the trading volume, right? The trading volume is up 228%. It's in the billions now. Because people feel safe with Stellar. But this is the thing. When I was buying it below 10 cents, when some of you were buying it below 10 cents, what was the uh, overall sentiment of Stellar? It's old tech. It's not needed. XRP's needed. It's going to be sued next it had a bad previous all-time high. It's not going anywhere. Where is it now? It's doing, it's doing good, right? This is what I mean. And now all those people are like, just very silent. They're just treading water. Maybe you're in the ocean gobbling up Stellar. You look to your left. You look to your right. You see them. They're just like waving at you, <laughs> hoping a shark doesn't get them. Like This is what I mean, guys. This is why I say ignore different opinions ignore what the fud is out there in the market this is why you got to do your research because you're going to see people i guarantee it right if we have another black swan event and let's just say stellar right now goes below 10 cents again in a week right i guarantee you people are going to come out and say it's going to zero something bad right and then they won't gobble it up and then let's just say stellar rebounds they're going to go silent again and you want if you want a great example quant people are hating on quant like crazy right now. I see the comments. They're saying, oh, the trading volume's down. It's around $100. This is ridiculous. It's supposed to be $300. Exactly the same thing, right? I guarantee it. Quant right now is $102. Give it a month. People are going to be like, oh my God. They're going to have the home alone face. They're going to be like, I should have bought more Quant than 100 I can't believe it stayed there for so long. I didn't buy it. People do not buy in the red. They may laugh and you know say, oh, you guys are idiots. You, know, you, you only buy high and sell low. A lot of people don't do that. It sounds logical, but why do you think 80% of people don't make money in the space? It's because of reasons like this. When we see discounts, right, you and me, we go out there, we buy, and we wait on the sidelines. But the majority of retail doesn't do that. They get funded out, whether they find someone else with a different opinion, they find an article, or anything to find FUD, and they say, oh my god, it's going to zero, I'm getting out, and they get out. Or they constantly flip-flop. There's a lot of mistakes beginner investors make, which is why they call the majority of retail dumb money. Whether it's focusing entirely on meme coins, flip-flopping, constantly trading, trying to short hidden gems, like for example, trying to short Caspa. If any of you guys are trading Caspa right now, trying to short it, you will highly regret it with time. Not financial advice. You don't have to believe me. I'm not here to debate you. I'm just giving you guys how it is. If you short Caspa, you will regret it. And this is what I mean. People want to ride in the fast lane because it's cool. They want to become rich tomorrow. They don't have the discipline, the emotional strength and control, and the patience to understand that market cycles happen in cycles. They're normal. And if you wait and buy at big discounts, you will be rewarded in due time. If you know in a couple of years from now, whatever you're holding is going to be up massively from now, why are you constantly just flip-flopping? Like, yeah, I know some of you want to make the 100x, 1000x, totally get it. But if your entire portfolio is micro caps or meme coins and you're just trying to be in a fast lane, you will get wrecked. What happens in real life when you see, you know, constant cars going 100 plus miles an hour? 
on the highway. They either get pulled over and get a ticket, they get wrecked and ruin the car, or they freaking die again to a car accident. What's going to happen in crypto if you're constantly in the fast lane? You're going to get wrecked. You're not going to die. I'm not saying you're going to die, but you'll get wrecked. You're not going to feel great. Are you guys going to feel good if you lose $20,000 because you're just riding in a fast lane? It's so cool. Listen, I'm not telling you guys you have to agree with all my picks. There's many different picks that are going to make it in my opinion. I am not here to, you know, dissuade you from any particular belief, opinion, or anybody you're, you're following. I understand the majority of you follow many YouTubers, and some of these YouTubers are friends of mine. They're friends of mine. So I totally get it, and I respect a lot of YouTubers on here. Some of them are a little shady and scammy. A good percentage of them are honest, genuine people who will give you guys good, genuine, personal advice to help you make money. Let's be honest here. We do have some genuine people out here that will have your best interests at heart. But there are some scammy people. You, and you're going to see manipulation and politics play a big factor. We're already seeing it. The Bitcoin ETF was literally rejected and now it's getting approved. The ISO coins were suppressed for multiple years and are now starting to show pumps, show signs of life. The majority of retail are saying these cryptos are stupid, they're dumb, they're going to zero. And now they're like the majority of them are up more than any other old coin or even Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down over a percent today. And all the ISO, and the majority of the ISO coins are up. So I understand why they call themselves XRP Army or you know the ISO crypto enthusiasts. They get a lot of hate, but they're loyal for a reason. They saw this three years ago taking place. Now, obviously, none of us had a crystal ball. We can't just say, oh, yeah, we knew XRP was going to win. XRP was going to win. I told you guys in many videos, I believe the SEC was losing to XRP. I just had a high belief in it from what I was seeing out there, the research, what I was seeing in the courtroom, you know, from, you know, obviously from Twitter and stuff, not just, you know, not being in the courtroom as a juror, but I was, you know, I was seeing a lot of stuff doing deep dives. But the thing is this, when you see a negative catalyst for any crypto, you may think the majority is going to buy that dip. They're not buying the dip. They're actually getting flooded out and they're laughing at people that are buying these dips. For example, Algorand, right? There's a whale buying algo, but you're going to see a lot of people say, you're an idiot. You're buying at 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 cents. They're going to say, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Now, let's just say Algorand, you know, recovers massively, right? All those haters are going to just go silent. Just like we're seeing with Stellar, just like we're seeing with XRP. Now, keep in mind, I'm a realist. I'm not saying because I'm bullish on XLM and XRP that they're going to go to $100 and 37K respectively. You know, my expectations are more grounded. You're getting sold those narratives so you can hodl forever and get left holding the bag when the team and the whales dump on you way before that. If you don't realize that, you will realize in due time. You don't want to be left holding the bag. But you also don't want to be flooded out because of retail, who is also dumb money, is just saying their opinions. These are all opinions, guys. All opinions at the end of the day. This is why the more experienced you are in this market, the more time you have in a market versus trying to time the market and be cool in the fast lane. This is how you put yourself in a great position to make these gains. I often get asked, you know, John, how do you always stay like, optimistic or level-headed in, in the space when you see you know discounts and stuff like that it's because i know fundamentally the crypto market is going to recover the bitcoin having is taking place and i know we're going to see all coin season and as a utility-based investor i'm more of like an visionary i try to piece where i see the crypto market going in two three four five years you know layer ones isos and then i look for things that are broken or have to be fixed or addressed to either help scale these cryptos or help scale us and push us towards mass adoption. So as an visionary, I try to imagine where big money would invest because big money is not investing majority into meme coins and, and crap coins. They may do it because they understand retail will FOMO and drive the price high and they only need like a 10% gain to make millions of dollars. So they're not stupid. They're not living under a rock. They will do that. But the majority of whales and smart money is investing into utility plays because they know with time when you see the centralized exchanges volume increasing like we're seeing with stellar right now the actual crypto going up over to a billion trading volume once that happens the majority of retail who uses centralized exchanges they're not using uniswap and other dexes they prefer an easier interface they will use these exchanges 
they will see Bitcoin as too expensive. They will see Ethereum as too expensive. They will look for cheap crypto, you know, pennies on a dollar. And this is where your micro caps, your utility coins, and all of the old coins that you were told were suppressed, were going to zero, or bad investments will just blow up, not just in volume, but in price action. And then you're going to see everybody just go silent because they're either going to be trying to dump on you first or they're going to wait until they're proven wrong and just take their L and move on. Happens every cycle. I've seen this happen in stocks. A certain company has a bad quarter of revenue. They go down 20%. You see all the haters come out who either got wrecked and just want to hate, or they just want to hate on the investors, try to fud them out, manipulate them, and say that company is going to zero. It's a bad company to get out. And then a few months from now, next quarter, whatever, that company has a massive recovery, and those haters go away. I've seen it happen in different markets. If you get funded out, don't blame another YouTuber. Don't blame another person. It is entirely on you because your foundation of research is based on paper hands. If you're constantly flip-flopping your conviction into your cryptos based on different opinions, and day by day, you're bullish here, you're bearish here, you're bullish here, you're bearish here. That is entirely your fault. Entirely your fault. You may not like me for saying that, but I'm going to assume to you guys straight. I'm not here to take sponsorships, show cryptos, and get paid to lie to you guys. I tell you guys what I'm bullish on. I tell you things to look for in the market, and I give you guys advice to control your emotions. Because if you don't become a logical investor and all you do is just flip-flop based on emotions or what someone says here and there, they're going to get wrecked. It's only a matter of time, and I don't want to see you guys get wrecked. That's why I created this channel. That's why I created my Patreon and Discord. I'm trying to help you guys make money, whether you want to believe it or not. I'm trying to become financially free myself. I want to see you guys join me too. But getting on track with Stellar, this was a great example of a crypto that got so much hate, so much unnecessary FUD, and is now showing a pump. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see many old coins who are also in this category, getting called FUD, getting called uh, bad investments, whatever, have the same effect. You have to do your own research and be your own investor. This is very important, so I want to say this again. Be your own investor. Be your own leader, and you will make better investment decisions, and you will see your portfolio go like this in the green, and you'll be cashing out and laughing to the bank. By the way, if you guys want to reach out to me, talk to me, join my Patreon and Discord, and be a part of a like-minded community and also a support group during these challenging times, feel free to join my Patreon and Discord. There will be a link in the description. I would love to see you there. But I want to hear from you. How do you guys feel about Stellar XLM? And what altcoins are you focusing on right now? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in this video.